Hey people, so this time around I am gonna go over arguments and how to make two programmable blocks communicate via antennas. And the little case I've set up for that is a bunga. So I've made this bunga, I've made this little chip, and I want to make a garage door opener basically. I want to be able to open the door from the chip uh, in the last end. First off, we're gonna make it openable via a button. So I'm just gonna write the script behind the scene uh, for opening the actual door and then we're gonna together tie in the argument to make it work. Uh, just to explain what I'm gonna write, I want to open the door obviously, uh, but I want it so that if this is retracted, this cannot extend. If this is extended, this cannot retract, so I don't mess up my door. Anyhow, I'm just gonna pop on over and do the script. Alright, so here we have it in its mostly finished forms. So, we got our pistons up here. We got the pistons from the block. Uh, we got an update every 10 ticks. And then we have some code. So I got a boolean here that is called open, that is false at the moment. And I've got some code running on that boolean. So, if open is true, then we're gonna extend the outward moving pistons. If those pistons are fully extended, then we're gonna extend the upwards facing pistons. If it is not so else, if open is not true, we are going to retract the upwards facing pistons. If they are fully retracted, we're going to retract the outward moving pistons. So I need a way to flip this boolean to make it true or false uh, on my command. And we're going to use argument for that. In the terminal system, you may see a little text field called argument when you're at the programmable block. That is it. Also, when you add a program block to an uh, action bar, it will give you the option of adding an argument. That is basically what we're going to catch here. So, if argument equals, so we're going to use equals because we're dealing with a string here. We can't just use equal signs when dealing with strings of text. Um, so, yeah. So, that equals, let's say, door. So, if the argument equals door, we're going to do something. In this case, we're going to take open and say it is equal to the opposite of open. Um, so, not open. So, if open equals false, then it's going to be true. If open equals true, then it's going to be false every time we run that door. Uh, the thing about arguments is also the arguments are only going to be there for one iteration of the code. So once this is run true, even though we have the update frequency on, next time the code runs, argument is not going to be what it was when we ran it. Um, so this won't just flip infinitely. It will only flip every time we run the block with the argument door. So let's pop it in to the game and see how it runs. All right. Since we started off with open being false, uh, the door should close once we put in the code. And let's see, it does. Great. Now we need a way of opening it again. So as I said, we are listening to the argument. So if I go over here and configure button, I'm going to take our programmable block, say run, and then it gives me the option of adding an argument. We're going to say door, because that is what we defined in our code. So if I push this button now, the door opens. And uh, yeah, it'll stay open until it gets told otherwise. So push the button again, it will close. Right, now that is basically it for arguments. Uh, got a one more thing I want to add, but I'm just going to continue here a bit first. So what we want to do now is we got an antenna up on the roof, and we got an antenna on the ship. And we want them to communicate with each other, or rather we want the programmable blocks to communicate with each other. So that's what we're going to do next. So let's pop back to the IDE. Right, so I've gone ahead and I have added an antenna. And now we're going to add a couple of blocks that you probably haven't seen before. So first off is my ITC message. I'm just going to call it packets equals new my ITC message. So my ITC message is how you communicate between blocks in the game, communicate between programmable blocks at least. Uh, it is a packet of three pieces of data. So you have the data itself, you have something called a tag, which is basically the communications channel. It is the channel that another block will listen into to get whatever data you're sending. The last bit is, I believe it's called the source. It's basically an ID identifying that specific lock 
which send the, the data. Right, next up we're going to add some listeners. So a list of IMI broadcast listener. And we're going to call those listeners. Yes. Equals new list by my broadcast listeners. So that is going to be the list containing our listeners. Our listeners is basically a list of channels that we are going to define, uh, which we're going to be listening to. So we had a channel called a door in our example. I'm going to get into that a bit more in a moment. Now I'm just going to make a string, which is going to be my channel. We don't have to do this. I just find it easier to have it this way. And we're going to make it called door. Right. On we move. Uh, we're going to have to attach our programmable block to the antenna. You can do that. You may have seen the option on the antenna in game uh, to attach it to a specific programmable block. You can do it there, but we're going to do it here. So I'm going to say antenna attach programmable block is equal to me. Me is, uh, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before, but me will basically be the programmable block you're writing the script on. So it's the same as adding one of these lines with a programmable block, but you can always use me instead. So if you type me and dot, I can do whatever with the programmable block I could do if I had added it like the other blocks. Uh, but yeah, what we want here is the entity ID. So that's the unique ID of the programmable block, and we're going to attach that with the antenna. All right, three more lines, and we're basically set up. So first one is IGC dot register broadcast listener. So this is where we register our listener, which uh, channel we are going to be listening for data on. And since we already defined channel up here as a string, we can just type in channel. You could also type in a string with quotation marks. You can just set door, for example. Uh, but yeah, we're using the channel. So now we're going to be now we have registered a listener on that channel, and that in and of itself won't do anything. So we're going to grab that listener and do something with it. First off, we're going to get it by saying igc get broadcast listeners. So yeah, before I just go to that, this up here you can run multiple times. You could have 10, 20, 30 channels, I believe have that many at least and doing different things so what we're doing next here is we are getting the list of listeners so get broadcast listeners and stuff them into the list called listeners for our last trick here we're going to take that listener so we're going to say listeners do a square bracket and zero so we're taking the first listener in the list of listeners and we are going to set a callback message what this does is that every time you receive a message on that channel, so the channel we defined up here, every time we get a message on that, we're going to run the programmable block with an argument. And that argument, in this case, is door, because we want to run the argument for opening and closing our door. And that is basically it. If we were to send a pack on that channel, the channel called door, the listener will run the block with the argument door. So I haven't gone over how to receive the actual data yet. And uh, yeah, th what we're doing here is we're receiving a command, basically. So if we receive anything on the channel door, we're going to open the door, and that is it. We're not receiving data, and that is kind of the purpose of a garage opener. But let's expand it a bit so you can see how to receive data. Right, so we registered the packet up here, my IDC message. And we have set a callback function here. So this is run when we receive any data uh, and we want to stuff that data into something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a string called data and down here we're going to start off by saying packet equals listener zero accept message. So this is only run when we actually get a message. So we're getting a message, this function is run we accept the message and stuff it into package. If we access packet now, we can get data, we can get the source and the tag. So the tag is the channel, the data is the data, and the source is the entity ID of whoever sent that data. And what we want is the data, and we want to stuff it into the data string. 
we have to append that data by to string because that is what I want to do with it. I want to convert the data to a string. When we get it, it is of a weird type. I'm not actually not even sure what, I believe you can actually send anything as data and then format it on the other side. I usually use string because it then is a bit confusing. Uh, so yeah, anywho, now we have a string with the data. Let's do something with it. Let's say that if data equals password, open the door. Um, so now we not only have to receive something on the channel, the data contained in what we receive has to be password, otherwise we won't open the door. This of course makes it so that we cannot open the door with a local button because there's no way to uh, insert the data. So I'm just gonna make an extra if argument down here. Um, equals door local. So if the argument equals door local, so we, we got an argument to use for buttons and stuff uh, locally on the base. Right, so what's gonna happen is someone's gonna send us a message. If it's on the correct channel, the channel door, then we're gonna run this argument uh, and we're gonna get the data we received. If that data equals password, then we're gonna open the door, otherwise we're gonna do nothing. This door logo down here, a remote sender will not be able to trigger that because we only have a listener that can send the argument door. So now we're gonna need a remote control for this receiver. So let's uh, go make that. Fortunately, that's a pretty small piece of code. So we're gonna need an antenna. Uh, I'm my radio antenna, antenna, and we're gonna stuff a block into that. So antenna is equal to with server system get block with name antenna as I my whoops I my radio antenna right, and we're gonna attach that to the programmable block as we did in the last bit of code equals me dot entity id. Oops, and that's basically the, the, the block setup. Now we're gonna need a channel, so string channel equals door. And we want our password, so string, let's call it data still, equals password. And for our last trick, we're gonna add an if function and send the data. So if argument, equals, let's just say open, just to not overuse that door thing. If argument equals open, we want to send the data. So ITC, integrate communication, send broadcast message, and then we want our channel first, so our tag, then we want our data, then we want our transmission distance. I usually just use transmission distance, transmission distance max. The other ones are mostly for uh, communicating within a single ship, so without antennas, and that works as well, but I haven't had any use for it. Anyhow, this is it. This is our remote control. Um, I'm just gonna stuff the code into the, to the ship and the station, and let's see how it works. All right, I have stuffed the code into the things. Let us just add the block and run with argument, I believe I called it open. All right, want to open, and here we go. The door opens. And yeah, uh, you could do something like this with sensors or uh, stuff like that, but a sensor has a um, 50 meter range, and the door opens slowly in this case, so let's just move out to a bit of distance. All right, kilometer should be enough, let's zoom in. I press one to close and it closes. I press one to open and it opens. So yeah, our communication is working. What if we were to change the password? So let's go into the programmable block and call it password two. Nothing happens, our password is incorrect. Obviously this is not a 
amazing security measure because someone could just be listening in. Uh, so you would probably have to make some kind of decryption, encryption and decryption if you want to be really secure, but this works pretty well. Uh, it is also, you can set your antenna, so, oh, this is gone wrong, oh, no, 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 oh, um, you can set your antenna to ignore other broadcasts, ignore allied broadcasts, so basically you can set it to only respond to you. If you take this off, you may um, let your friends use the system uh, or whatever. So it's it's pretty secure as it is. You don't really need passwords and stuff like that, but it can be fun to make. And it was also just an example of how to send data. This is also where you can assign programmable block without doing the entity ID thing. Uh, this is basically what that line did. So yeah, I think that is all I have. If you want to take a look at the code, I'm going to save the game as it is right now and I'm going to put it in the description. As always, you're free to use the code for whatever you like uh, and also the world, but uh, just keep in mind that it is a, uh, it's a mug up, so yeah. Right, thank you for watching this uh, what I think is a long video and I hope it was useful, so see ya.